Hello. In my last video, I have used JetGPT to generate a Python program for Raspberry Pi to control a blinking LED with a push button. It took several prompts, but eventually I got a program that worked as expected, although the code I was given was inefficient and was generally unfinished. Unfortunately, my efforts to use ChatGPT to improve and optimize its own code did not result in a satisfying outcome. In this video, I will attempt to use ChatGPT again to produce an equivalent program, but this time resulting in optimized and efficient code. Let me start with the same initial prompt as last time. What we have learned previously is that ChatGPT favors the older RPI GPIO library, which typically results in code that is unnecessarily complex and broken to a large degree. This time, I will add a stipulation up front to use GPIO0 in an attempt to get simpler code right away. All right, the program is simple, but not quite what I asked for. This code will turn the LED on and off with each button press, but the LED will not be blinking. I am baffled how such major requirement would be missing. Let me quickly add a follow-up query as to how to run such program. This is fine. I am asking this question as ChatGPT often gets this wrong. Python 2 does not seem to come up anymore, at least for me, so it appears that the bot is improving in this regard. Let me run this program. As expected, this program allows toggling off the LED using the button, which is fun and works well, but is not what I asked for. I will ask for an improvement. The LED turns on and off with each button press, but it does not blink. Interesting. It appears that the bot is confused about the difference between a blink which is a binary on-off operation versus a pulse, which is a gradual change in brightness. Let's try it. This is nice, admittedly an improvement, but not quite what I asked for. Also, the button can only start the pulsing and does not stop it. Let's keep going. This is better, but I want blinking, not pulsing. I don't think there is such a thing as a blink class in GPIO 0, but okay, I have been wrong before, so let's try it anyway. As I thought, garbage. Yet again, ChatGPT provides fictional code. I got an error cannot import blink. No, I don't think so. My system is up to date, but I'll check it anyway. Confirmed. Let's keep going. My version is 1.6.2. This program does not work for me. Wow. ChatGPT just loves using loops. Plus, there is no such thing as wait for edges in RPI GPIO factory, but I will confirm that through a test run. Just as expected. Can the bot deal with the mess it created? Nope, the bot is coming off its rails. Now it proposes to use RPI GPIO and GPIO0 at the same time. This is by far the worst program it produced for me yet in this video series. This will never work, as you cannot have different libraries control GPIO at the same time. I'm not even trying it. Let's pull the bot out of this rabbit hole and point it in a different direction. Can you start over in a different direction? This does not work for me. I want to use GPIO0 only.
This is essentially what I was given earlier with the pulse method, but now with the blink method. However, it only starts the blinking process, but does not stop it. Let's keep going. Blinking starts correctly, but does not stop when button is pressed again. Now, this is an interesting solution. This program will start and stop the blinking with a button press, but this hinges on the condition of the LED being lit. Again, not quite there, but closer than before. This program will work correctly only some of the time. Unfortunately, Blinky will not turn off when the button is pressed with the LED off. The isLit attribute changes from true to false as the LED does its blinking. Let me demonstrate. The program starts with LED off. I press the button and blinking starts fine. Now I will press the button while the LED is on and blinking stops correctly. I will start the blinking again. This time I will attempt to stop the blinking when LED is off. As I expected, the blinking did not stop. It actually got restarted mid-blink. Not what I asked for. Let's see what the bot can do about that. Blinking stops only when button is pressed when LED is on. That looks good. There is a global variable now used, which is flipped with each button press. Blinking start and stop relies on it, and this program will work correctly. You may recall that I asked originally for a graceful program exit, where breadboard components were to be closed. This section of the code somehow got lost through the process, so let me ask for it again. Add graceful exit to clean up GPIO pins used on control C. That looks okay, although this is a different method than I got originally. The initial method handled this through exceptions, and this one does it through the signal library. I tend to favor the solution based on exceptions using a try block, but this one will work too. Having said that, there is a small problem here, as this program is missing an import at the top. Let me show you what happens when I run this program as is. The bot should be able to fix that easily. I get an error, signal is not defined. That looks fine. Let's give this a try. That looks fine, but it should not have taken me more than 10 prompts to get there for such a simple program. Also, I should not be given code that would not run at all, or the bot should not be losing working features, such as the graceful exit throughout the process. While the process I went through so far has been certainly informative and fun, the initial prompts had the programming problem outlined completely. ChatGPT was never able to provide a working solution that was even close to their requirements, at least not right away. I am curious to see whether the process would be smoother if I issued the prompt in shorter, incremental fashion. Programming is generally done that way, so why not use the bot the same way? Let's start a new chat. The first prompt will be just the basics. Write the Python program for Raspberry Pi to continuously blink an LED connected to GPIO 26. Use GPIO 0 library. Again, the bot is trying to push a loop. How do I run it? That's fine. I am happy that using Python 3 is suggested. The program looks fine and will produce expected behavior, but I don't like that there is a loop. Can you do this without using a loop? 
okay, wow, this is certainly different. The loop is gone, and it is replaced correctly with LED class blink method. However, the bot does not seem to know that this method runs asynchronously by default in the background. This program will start and end immediately the way it is written. Let me demonstrate. I'm not sure you can see that in the video, but the LED blinks very briefly once every time I run this program. LED blinks briefly once and the program exits. Oh no, another loop and a very ugly one. This proclivity for infinite loops is infuriating. ChatGPT writes programs as if it is throwing darts where there is a huge magnet next to the board labeled loop. Let's regenerate. No loop this time, but this program will only run for one second and exit. I will see only one full blink cycle. There should be a pause statement at the end of the program instead of sleep. The last paragraph of explanation is also puzzling. While it is true, the approach proposed is inefficient. The blink method has an optional parameter to specify the number of cycles. You can also change the blink background execution behavior to run it in the foreground, alleviating the need for an explicit pause afterwards. Let's keep going. I want the LED to blink continuously. Back with a loop. I feel like crying. I don't want a loop. Finally, and it took only what? Six prompts? I am not impressed. The explanation is not accurate though. Background parameter is optional, and it defaults to true, so it is not actually needed here. But nah, I'm not going to quip. Now that the blinking is done, let's add the button. Add a button to the project connected to GPIO 21, which will start, stop the blinky with each press. This looks convoluted, but let me try this before I comment. Okay, that works fine, but I don't like the code. It is not clear to me what the purpose of the button state variable is, it seems to be a duplication of the LED state variable. Let me regenerate. I'm hoping for simpler code. I like this much better. This is exactly what I wanted, but again, I should be giving this right away. The last thing to do here is to add a graceful exit. This looks fine, essentially what I wanted, but I do have one concern. I am curious why the LED is just turned off and not closed. Only turning off an LED may leave the GPIO in output mode when the program exits. So when this or another program tries to use that pin later, that may become a problem. If possible, you should always close GPIO pins on program exit as a matter of good programming practice. Why LED off and not LED close? Well, this is not true. You can always use the pin in future runs of the program. It does not matter whether you turn it off, close it, or do nothing. The outcome of such situation will vary, but this is a separate issue altogether. This paragraph is also not true. Closing a pin does not prevent you from using it again. If what the bot said was true, 
then why is it closing the button? Would I not be able to use the button pin next time? Way to be self-contradictory. Let me repeat my question by regenerating. A better answer, but the explanation is still too vague. In the end, I specifically asked for the components to be closed on exit, and I don't appreciate being led to an inferior programming practice. I think this is a good point to stop. Hopefully my two videos gave you an overview of what ChatGPT is capable of in its current iteration for your electronic projects with Raspberry Pi. I find ChatGPT interesting and I appreciate the fact that I can communicate with it using natural language. Unfortunately, on the ChatGPT code generation side, this technology is not as good as I expected, especially noting the hype about it. In the end, ChatGPT is only as good at writing computer programs as the code it was trained on. Unfortunately, much of Python code for Raspberry Pi GPIO I have seen on the web, which is used to train the model, particularly in handling buttons, is poorly implemented or outright wrong. ChatGPT will no doubt get better with time, and I intend to revisit the subject in about a year, so stay tuned. Thanks for watching.